I'm not kidding. It feels like three weeks ago that uh, race weekend, the incredible race weekend we had this year. Perfect conditions, beautiful course, amazing people along the course. I ran the half marathon this year, and it was just the most fun I've ever had on a run, which is surprising to me. I thought it was going to be grueling. Turns out I was like all smiles the whole race. John Halverson here with me from uh, Tamarack Auto Race Weekend. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so let, let, before we visit this year, this uh, the past marathon was right. just a massive success. Well, the overall Tamarack Race Weekend was yeah. a huge success. We had uh, record numbers, and uh, at this point, it looks like we're going to hit new records again next year. So registration is open already. It's just opened uh, this week. On Tuesday, yeah, yeah. We opened on Tuesday morning. <laughs> and uh, and it's been very exciting. We've sold, you know, had people register at a rate uh, for the first couple of days that it, that took us a month to hit last year. <laughs> so um, get in you, there. You know, the numbers are really quick and we've gone to one expo that we travel around to expos and promote Ottawa, promote coming to the city and running here. And people are really excited. And all they ask is when does registration open? So um, you know, we're, we're excited for that. It's great for us. It allows, you know, very calm planning. We kind of know what the numbers are going to be and, uh, and we're, we're starting our, our work now with medals and t-shirt design and so on. This is uh, the premier Canadian marathon, really, when you look at it, and it's the 40th year. It is. This is the 40th uh, time the marathon is going to be run in Ottawa, and that makes it special. So we're stepping that up a little bit, too. We're doing a, a book project with Mark Sutcliffe. And, uh, oh, nice. And uh, the first registers, people that register before December 1st, will get a free copy, and we'll offer it up for sale. It's going to be a very nice coffee table type book. Oh, uh, excellent. Sort of going back into time and capturing it, uh, you know, for history at this point. And we'll look, we'll have to come up with a new idea for the 50th. Who better <laughs> than Mark Sutcliffe to uh, help you put that together? He is just such a passionate runner, obviously with iRun Magazine, exactly. the running show on Team 1200 as well. Uh, can we take a look at some of those? You've got a new design on the T-shirt this year for the, the 40th specifically. Yeah, what we've done this year is we've uh, oh, nice. we've looked at that uh, t doing it what's called a fully sublimated shirt. So the shirt is actually kind of completely printed. Uh, yeah, it's still a technical shirt, uh, but this is you know sort of celebrating the 40th for this year. Uh, we're emphasizing that we are you know Canada's marathon, and this is uh, one way to show that. And, and we know that the people that come in from out of town really appreciate that. Certainly the foreigners to get something that's Canadian. Yeah, and it's very, I mean, it screams Canada, red, white, and the 40, like, this is all breathable material, all yep. good to go, yep. so you're not going to have to worry about that. And uh, let me ask you a question. I was out on the course, and there seemed to be some sort of, um, sort of superstition about wearing the shirt of the race you're in. How do you feel about this? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the only thing I can say about that, a lot of people will wear the race shirt. Um, they, I think, you know, it makes them feel part of it. And, yeah, and, and, I wore the and race everyone's shirt. wearing the same shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing I will say is for those who are running with young children, don't put them in the race shirt because then everyone looks the same and oh, it's hard right, to pick your kid right. out of the crowd. Okay. Uh, all, you know, you see that a lot in the kids, uh, the Y Kids Marathon. You, everyone wearing the race shirt and they're all wearing a red shirt. Oh and boy. then when you're trying to find your child, it's <laughs> almost impossible. All right. Or, or do something that, uh, you know, akin to the aerial topper. For your that's kid, do something right. that makes your kid fluorescent stand hat out. or something like this. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so uh, I'm a big supporter of wearing the shirt that you're racing, the race that you're <laughs> racing. So mm -hmm. put that to rest. <laughs> yeah, you can do whatever you want. But the 40th one uh, coming up for marathon, half marathon, 10k, that's right. 5k dis distance as well. Oh yeah, same as last year. Okay. We're basically running the same program. Probably changing uh, the start time for the uh, the, the the two and the f uh, 5k on Saturday okay. to give it a little more space because we are growing still and we're going to be using wave starts even more. Really quickly, how do people register? Uh, RunOttawa.ca and there's a link right there. Easy wow. enough. John Halverson, thanks very much. Thank we'll you. talk to you a lot more as we lead up to Ottawa Race Weekend.